Good morning, everyone. I am in Harriman, Tennessee, and the Blue Ridge trip is over. The rest of the crew is headed on back to Chicago, but me, I'm riding on. I got more things to see, more things to do. I got about a week until my next scheduled trip starts with some friends. That'll be a great adventure as well, but we got adventures to do until then. I was sitting this morning looking at the map, well, the country, thinking about what I could do, what I could see, and an old bell rang in my head about the Natchez Trace Parkway. Learned about the parkway from, I don't know who, I think it was an old timer year or two ago, stuck it in my phone for a rainy day of things I gotta see, things I gotta do, and today we are doing it. We're gonna make our way to Nashville, Tennessee, where we're gonna jump on the Natchez Trace Parkway, point or south off 444 miles straight to Natchez, Mississippi. It is a lot like the Blue Ridge Parkway in the fact that it is non-commercial, straight recreation. Gonna be a killer ride, gonna be beautiful. So, enough talking. Let's jump on the bike, get to doing it. I have just made it onto the Natchez Trace Parkway. The Natchez Trace Parkway is a 444 mile scenic drive that takes you through three states and roughly follows an old travel corridor known as the Old Natchez Trace. That was used by American Indians, European settlers, slave traders, soldiers, and future presidents. Today I'm gonna to take it out of Tennessee into Mississippi where I have a campsite booked at Tom Bigby Campground. The weather is absolutely beautiful today. Let's jump on the bike, do some riding. just rolled into camp here at Tom Bigby State Park and I just got to show you guys this campsite because it is amazing. So I paid about $21 and some change and I got my own trash can. Over here I got a tent platform nice and level. There's a grill with a table next to it. Standard picnic bench. You got these posts with hooks on them if you had a hammock. You got a fire pit that's, well, seen better days. You got chairs built in the ground, and you got a swinging bench. I mean, for $22? That's a fantastic deal. This is, a, this is probably the best campsite I've ever had. Good morning, everyone. It is day two of my Natchez Trace Parkway trip, and I stayed at Tom Bigby State Park last night, which is right near Tupelo, Mississippi. I rolled into town, into the Duncan, got some good hot coffee, a bite to eat, and a little fact for everyone is Tupelo, Mississippi is the birthplace of Elvis Presley. So now I'm here at the birthplace and museum of Elvis Presley. I'm going to check it out, see what it's about, spend some time here, but not too much because we got to get back on the trace, make our way to Natchez, Mississippi. It's gonna be a great day. It looks like there's a couple clouds in the sky, nothing major. Anyway, let's check out the museum.
that is gonna do it for the Elvis birthplace and museum definitely a fun and unique stop we got a short detour of the trace due to road construction then we'll be back on it all the way to Natchez Mississippi so we better get rolling Just finished up the Natchez Trace Parkway and rolled into camp here at Riverview RV Park and Resort in Vidalia, Louisiana. And I figured I would wrap up the trip, my two days I spent in the Natchez Trace Parkway. And I jumped on in Nashville at the northernmost point, started headed south. And in the beginning, there's a lot of nice sweeping curves and it's a very wooded road it's it's just straight through a forest pretty much the whole way and then the roads kind of straightened out from there but something i like about the trace versus the blue ridge is there's a lot of historic pull-offs you can just pull right off the road and there's a little history about that area and that's pretty interesting to me i, I stopped at a few of those not too too many and i kept on riding and then left tennessee into alabama and the trace goes from Alabama, straight through the corner of Alabama, to Mississippi, where I kept headed south and made my way to Tupelo, Mississippi, where I stayed at Tom Bigby State Park. And that was a great state park. They give you a lot at your campsite for the small amount of money that it costs, 20, 20 bucks. That was nice and had a nice stay there. And then I figured I'd check out Tupelo while I'm there. I checked out Elvis's birthplace, his childhood home. There was a little museum. That was pretty interesting. And then jumped back on the trace from there. And then it's a similar ride. It's mostly flat. There's some hills here and there, but it's mostly a flat route the whole time. There's no real scenic overlooks like on the Blue Ridge. Um, but it's a nice ride. It's a nice relaxing ride the whole time. It gets a little monotonous at times, but it was fun. And then I rolled into French camp and checked out Lost Gringos Coffee House. Great little area, great coffee house. Uh, that was at the advice of my friend Chad from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Really appreciate the help on that one. Um, I'm, I'm glad I didn't miss that. That was a great stop. So got back on the trace bound for for this area Natchez Mississippi which is right across the Mississippi River and you know it was, a, it was just a nice ride it was kind of still the same as the northern part but I enjoyed it it's just a relaxing enjoyable ride there's there's not a lot of traffic and you know there's no big trucks it's just it's just simple easy going riding and, and I enjoyed it the sun was setting as it is now and then I rolled into camp here, Riverview RV Park and Resort, and it's a nice little place. Um, there's 
quite a bit of slights here. It looks like it's well kept. So we're stay here for night for tonight and start a new adventure tomorrow. You know, we're kind of kind of in between um, planned adventures, so we're kind of just kind of spitballing here a little bit. But I got something cool in mind for tomorrow, so don't you worry about that. And uh, we're gonna get out of Louisiana into a new state, but that's enough about that for now. You'll see it here in a future video. And really appreciate everybody watching, all the likes, comments, support, you know, people subscribing, telling your friends, things like that. You know, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you on the next video.